Welcome to this edition of Video Drone by DAY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be unboxing what I call the Poor Man's Mavic. So uh, it's the Hubson uh, X4 Desire. It's going to be the H502E model. So um, originally introduced to this by Quadcopter101 in a video that he did. And one of the things about this is this is absolutely amazing for the money because it's got an HD camera, it's got GPS automatic return and altitude hold for about a hundred bucks or less so um, anyways uh, for that kind of money I mean it's just kind of a crazy price and it comes in a rather small box so the size of this guy is, is pretty tiny so the box is a little over eight inches or about 21 centimeters um, by about 21 centimeters by about Oh, a little over 10 or 4 inches. So uh, it's a rather small box. I was surprised. I was expecting not a big box, but a little bit bigger box. And I'm sure the props are off of it and everything. And one of the reasons I call this a poor man's Mavic is its size and its portability. Because this is one of the reasons that I decided to pick this up. Is uh, uh, I've seen a couple episodes on Quadcopter 101's channel where he took this as a travel copter and uh, just kind of blew me away in what he was able to achieve with this again for the price point and, and again for me a lot of with drones um, it's all sort of about you know it, it's almost are you going to lose it mm, good chance yes so uh, you know you don't want to spend a ton of money or at least I don't want to spend a ton of money and so this was a great option now here it is um, here's what the unit looks like now one of the things I did want to check uh, so it's black, so it pretty much does look like it. Uh, you know, I think it's kind of hokey a little bit with some of the, you know, the Starship visor right here and everything. But hey, what the heck. Uh, it is what it is. And so this is, this is what we have. It's pretty lightweight. I'm not sure uh, what's inside of it. The, yep, the battery's inside of it. Looks like a pretty good sized battery. It's 7.4 volt, uh, 4.5 watt, 610 milliamp here. Now, the interesting thing is, I'm interested to see, um, looks like a little bit different plug. I didn't know if the uh, SEMA batteries would work. These are 3.7, this is 7.4 volts, so no, they, these obviously won't work. It was unclear what battery it was. So those that are interested, this is a 7.4 volt battery, which I think more, is more like the actually the X8 because the X8 is a 7.4 volt battery, um, and this is 610 milliamp, where this is uh, 2500. So that you can see the size difference. This is not going to fit inside of there. Um, so it looks like I'm going to have to buy some extra battery packs from Hubson. I was hoping to kind of get away with not having to buy extra battery packs. So I'm going to tuck that back up inside there. Um, so again, pretty pretty compact unit. And again, I'm kind of holding it in my hand for perspective. You know, so as a travel quad, you know, you take the props off of it. I think this could be packed up pretty easy. And this, I understand, has a 720p camera up front now. It's uh, obviously not adjustable, or at least doesn't appear that way. Um, so you have to live with that. But still, it's better than nothing. And so we got some kind of warnings on the control. So the controller is, is more so um, Nintendo-ish, if you would. But again, one of the things I like about this versus say the SEMA X8 controller is again the size so very small size very compact uh, I like I was a little bit of afraid of the buttons um, however the buttons are are not bad at all for you know adjusting and sticking and that kind of stuff tabs on off uh, it looks like it has a screw hole but there's no screw in it for the batteries this is not cooperating, so maybe I'll have to read the instructions how to get that off there. Let's see. So we have, it says, um, spare part pack. Uh, although it looks that's where, like, where my propellers are. So it looks like they c it comes with six propellers. And it comes with some small screws with a little, what looks like Loctite on them. I have no idea. 
It comes with a small screwdriver with a protector on the end, so you don't poke yourself in the eye, I guess. Um, and then it comes with a USB charger. Now, they, now, one of the things, at least in the uh, documentation when I bought it, it said it doesn't come with a charger, that you have to supply your own. So this says um, 5 volt, so 0.8 amp is what the draw is. And so uh, apparently this is somehow trickle charging up from 5 volts to 7.4. This is one of the things that surprises me, that it's 7.4 volt battery, having known it was going to come with that. Uh, and then the obligatory instructions and the disclaimer warning. So throw that in there, we don't need that. Um, uh, let's see all the different pieces. So it looks like looks like we got all the different pieces here. So that's uh, check. Talks about charging, installing the battery. It says don't fly by high tension wires, ear ports, interference, or in rain. Um, so it looks like the uh, props need to be actually screwed on. So. That'd be, that's going to be a little bit of pain in the wazoo for portability to screw on and off the props, but I guess that's what we have to live with for a poor man's Mavic. <clears throat> um, let's see here. So it does take a micro SD card in the side. Micro SD card is not included with this. Um, you can kind of see the, the lights in the landing, so it just sits right on the ground. Um, talks about photo positioning, GPS. Um, return to home mode, uh, this connection is lost, uh, return to home point and land automatically. Now this is the one thing I really liked about this too, so fail safe mode. The drone will enter into fail safe mode when the connection is lost from the transmitter. The flight control system will control the quadcopter to return to the home point and land automatically. Fail safe mode helps to avoid injuries and damages. I really like that about this. You know, so if something goes haywire, it's going to try to return to its home position. So that's good. Uh, also does have return to home mode. So uh, press this button and it returns to home. Here's apparently the camera and video buttons. Um, the, these appear to be the trimming as typical. So throttle. Video, throttle, runner, elevation. So it's got the atypical mode one, mode two, where it flips the throttle from side to side. Uh, the screen will tell you how many satellites you have, uh, as well as head orientation. Now there was a lot of discussion on the forums whether all of these have headless mode or not. Um, so I really don't know if this also has a headless mode. Um, so one of the things too, back to the fail-safe mode, uh, transmitters powered off, the flight distance is beyond the range of the transmitter's signal transmission. The signal was interrupted by some other strong electrical interference. You guys might have recalled I had a flyaway problem with the SEMA X8 uh, because of an interference problem. So again, I really like this feature. Um, photo, video, GPS point basic flight so again I don't I don't see anything in here about headless mode installed transmitter batteries so it takes four AAA batteries in the transmitter um, so you have you do have to calibrate the compass so you have to do this wanky walk of you know holding it this way and turning it around as well as then holding it this way and turning it around so um, there's a ton of that stuff. So transmitter calibration. So several things we have to go through. And definitely, the, the one thing I like about the Hubson too is you get this big parts list. So it's very easy to get parts for these guys for both hacking and, and repair. So I like that. So no, I don't see anything in this version about headless mode. Now this is the ultra cheap version. There's a couple different versions of this. Um, so. And again, this is what comes in the box, and this is what it looks like. And uh, 
And in a future episode, we'll go see about flying it. The weather here in Michigan is a little uh, damp and dreary, not quite drone weather right now. So it might have to be a day or two. But as soon as we can get out there and fly it, even if it's cold, we'll take it out and see how it does. Uh, so anyways, if you get any questions about this, let me know. Hit me up in the comments below. Subscribe. It'll be over there. And uh, hey, we'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Thank you.